Hey guys, happy Sunday! Today is Sunday, July 3rd, and I am back with more Pillow Evenings. First of all, let me just say, welcome you subscribers. There's this channel called The Beetle Scrubs, who I've mentioned in another video, I think, um, who made a shout out to us. So I'm really happy, and we gained like, I don't know how many subscribers, but I'm really happy to. I don't know. I'm just really happy. But I want to say thank you to the Scrubs for, you know, Fishy for giving us a shout out and I love you. <laughs> That's not creepy. And they also gave a shout out to another Beetle Blog video called 8 Blocks a Week, so check them out. Link in the doobly doo. By the way, there's gonna be lots of links today, just warning you. In the last video, Kimberly asked us if we were really into movies and Yes, I used to be really into movies, but not anymore. And then she asked us what our favorite movie was, well, my favorite movie. Mm, I think that has to be Toy Story 3. Don't laugh at me, I love that movie, and I still cry. Last time I watched it, it was like my third time watching it, and I cried like a baby. It's, it's really powerful. <laughs> It's really powerful, man. And the last Kimberly thingy, whatever that means, um, is for you guys to send pictures to Kimberly. Kimberly got this idea to make a video with pictures of our favorite Beatles stuff. So I already sent in my pictures, so if you want to participate and be part of this, you can send her pictures too, if you're a submariner or not. So the email address is gonna be in the doobly do. And now that that's all out of the way, it's time for the topic. I got this week's topic idea because I was watching TV and then who watches TV anymore, you loser? Gee. Um, but anyways, I was watching TV doing commercials and I see this. <laughs> So, did you see it? Um, let me just play it again. Did you see it this time? I'll play it slow-mo just in case. Yes. John Lennon and Paul McCartney were referenced in a commercial of Phineas and Ferb. Can this get any more epic? Yes! After I watched that, I remembered that some of my favorite cartoons had made a Beatle reference episode sometime. So that's my topic for today. Um, Beatle references in cartoons. So enjoy! We're about to take a groovy trip to India by the fastest conveyance available. A yellow submarine? No, Pinky. We shall mail ourselves to Acme Labs in New Delhi. Ooh, just like that Fable song, the mystical majesty trip. So the first cartoon show I'm going to talk about is Pinky and Brain. I don't know about you guys, but I grew up watching Pinky and Brain. So the episode's called All You Need Is Narf, and it's about Brain trying to take over the world, and Pinky just being there. So I haven't watched this episode since forever, but I remember that it was taking place in 1967 and Pinky and the Brain go to India um, to get this thingy, weed thingy, don't, don't get any bad thoughts when I say that. Markets were selling out of that plant thingy. The only way to get it is by seeing the great Maharishi. So Pinky um, decided to become that Maharishi kind of person and became the great Mouserushi and they find the Beatles. It's a cool episode. Um, so like I warned you, there's going to be lots of links because of this. Um, the episode is going to be down here in the doobly-doo if you want to watch it and I completely recommend it. Next show I want to talk about is The Simpsons and stop doing that. Hold on. 
See, it's kind of slow mo ish. See? It's annoying me. Stop. Anyways, um, The Simpsons are a classic for me. I love The Simpsons. Well, the old ones, the new ones are not that good. I want to talk about three episodes. Um, the first one being Brush with Greatness from season two. So, here's the clip. Well, Weatherby, they took the time to write me, and I don't care if it takes me another 20 years. I'm going to answer every one of them. Hello, what's this? From Springfield, USA. Gear. As you can tell, um, Ringo was the guest star. This is not the Beatle episode, um, but it's still pretty cool because Ringo's there and we all love Ringo! If you still want to watch the episode, even though it's not the Beatle episode, of course, I have the link below on the doobly do. The second Simpsons episode I want to talk about is Lisa the Vegetarian. So here's another crappy quality clip. Enjoy. That's why I ran away from home. What? She's leaving home? Wow, Paul McCartney! I read about you in history class. But well, where's your wife, Linda? Right here, Lisa. Whenever we're in Springfield, we like to hang out in Apu's garden in the shade. Once again, this is not the Beatles episode, but Paul and Linda are there, and who doesn't love Paul and Linda? I remember very well that I was watching this when I was five, and I didn't know who he was. And even though they said Paul McCartney, I'm like, who's that little old man? So if you want to watch the episode, of course I have the link in the doobly do. And of course, best for last, air drum roll because I don't have any drums to roll in. Whatever that means, because that sounded creepy. Homer's Barbershop Quartet. And here's the clip. It's been done. So this is the big Beatle episode in The Simpsons. And one of the best things of it is that George Harrison is there. Yay, because we all love George Harrison. So there's like this fair thing in Springfield. And there's lots of shops and stuff. And Bart and Lisa find this vinyl album thing with Homer in it. The album name is called Meet the B-Sharps. And of course, Lisa and Bart have their questions. So they go to Homer and ask, like, what the heck is this? And he tells the story. It's like they copied the Beatles storyline. Hmm. So the link is in the doobly-doo. And the last cartoon I'm going to talk about is the Powerpuff Girls. And this is when the guys X out this video. Don't, don't, don't! Once again, here's the last clip. Why do I always do that when I want to present the clip? So, there you have it. The Beatles have taken over, the girls have taken off. Will they return? Perhaps, perhaps not. But as they say, tomorrow never knows. I'm Stuart Best, and this has been A Day in the Life. Ugh, turn it off! By the way, we got to say it, but the episode's called Meet the Beatles. Beat all. Beat all. Beat. Oh. In this episode, all the villains get together so they could beat the Powerpuff Girls once and for all. Everything's going good and all until Mojo Jojo finds the girl. And of course, it follows the Beatles storyline. This episode has probably the most Beatle references than any of the other shows I just mentioned. So that's probably my favorite one of them all. If you want to watch it, like I said, this is the Big Beetle episode. I have the link right there in the doobly do. So, that's all I've got for you today. Um, hope you liked today's video. I really had fun looking around for cartoons. Have you seen another cartoon other than mentioned with Beetle references? Comment below. I really want to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. That's why I say it in every video. Makes sense, doesn't it? So, see you next Sunday. And by the way, he's not meaning to send to your store. Bye!